Dear friends, good evening. I'm David Afromov here in studio of leonidafromov.com. You know, today we didn't plan to do any videos, but I saw some very interesting comment on Facebook and I decided to create a special video broadcast about this comment. This comment was uh, from one of the users telling that he think the value of the value of the paintings it's go down if we sell them more. So let me explain you how it's work and why the value is just gonna go up. Because you know some comments sounds to me like a little bit offended. And especially, you know. Just a second. I have a live show. You can come. It's my daughter. Hold on. Just a sec. Just a second, I'll be back. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm super sorry, you know, my daughter not sleep so I do the broadcast a little quiet but I hope you will hear me but you know I wasn't able to stay quiet after I saw this comment you know it's very easy to hurt the artist and sometimes I'm so happy that my father not read all the comments because you know like for example a comment from this user about our offer of franchise yes we sold over 10 million merchandise of Leonid Afrimov and you know comment like oh I think value of my painting will go down let's be honest how much you invested hundred thousand dollar fifty thousand dollar or one hundred thirty nine dollar this is a big big difference value of originals never go, go down let me explain as more phone cases prints we sell the more value of the name of Leonid Afrimov go up because as more people know about him it's better to the name and better to your investment. By investment, I mean one of a kind original painting that we sell. If you buy print, if you buy recreation, it doesn't mean you made an investment today. In a couple of years, I hope in 20, 30 years from now, 50 years from now, after my father stopped working, everything goes up in price. Even signed phone cases, everything that have his original signature. But right now, one of the kind of originals are always in trend. They always sell expensive. Recreation, next step. After recreation, go limited edition Jacques, then prints, then phone cases like lighting paintings, t-shirts with the paintings. All this stuff costs cheaper and cheaper. So this is just my, you know, in Russia we say scream from the soul. Your investment not go down first because you don't need it. It's my answer to this comment. I especially Google the sale. Each painting, it's part of the soul of the artist. You're not investing money. It's not stocks that you need to hold in order to resell. It's just the art that gonna please your eyes in your home. It doesn't have value because it's priceless. Today, artists need to sell it cheaper he gonna sell it cheaper tomorrow he want to give it as a free gift he gonna give it as a free gift it doesn't matter but in some time and hundred years from now artist gone the price go up only in this case after no more paintings can be produced of course there is an artist like i try to by the way i try to move this very interesting post to this page but i was not able technically i don't know how to do it so if you go to Leonid Afromov personal page, you will see this post. It's fantastic, super correct post from the guys, as they called college humor. They create fantastic video explaining how the art business works. So if you see, oh, this art is sold for 10 million, you will understand all the ground, how and why. It's have nothing to do with quality, there's nothing. You know, me and my father, we're doing hard 
so you're going to be able to buy this or to afford it. Of course, if you spend $50,000 on one original, we guarantee that in this case, we're not going to recreate it. If the poster is going to be done, your name is going to be available in posters. Yes. In this case, yes. But if you buy a recreation one for 139, come on, guys, you buy this to put beautiful, damn beautiful thing on your wall, nothing else. You didn't invest, it doesn't have value. Sometimes people call, oh, I want to insure this painting for $50,000. What do you think? For what price do I need to put? You need to put the price that you paid only. Because art is priceless, but from, let's say, insurance value, whatever price you paid, this price you need to put. This was my screen from the soul. I wanted in Saturday evening to explain to this person that his value not go down. As more pieces we sell, the final value go up. For example, today in total, only today we sold about 600 phone cases in our stores. So it's mean paintings went down price. Have no connection. Or prints. For example, today we have this beautiful promotion. We received paint, prints back from uh, five London galleries. We stopped working with. I tell you, we hate to work with galleries that not belong to us. We shipped them prints about two years ago. These people even did not open the boxes. Oh, you know, David, we have no time to do it because, you know, we have other stuff to do. But we promise by Christmas, next Christmas, Christmas after next. No. So what we decided was, like, come on, guys, ship it back. It's my belonging. It belonged to, my, to me. So give my painting back. So today we sell this five prints. It's just prints. It's beautiful prints on canvas. We sell this beautiful prints on canvas for only $99. So five prints on canvas you can get for $99. It doesn't mean it's go down in value. It means nothing. It just means we have about 500 prints arrived back. By the way, you can order them via this link. It just means these prints arrived back. So we decided to sell them to you because my store are not prepared to sell prints. From all that come, we sell only oil can on canvas. To ship these prints to galleries that sell our franchises is also headache because they have their own merchandising. So I decided basically to give it to you for free. Five prints, large prints, not small, signature, but not painting. It's a print. It's print on canvas. It's mechanical print. It's not hand bright, not, not done by hand. These five prints are sold for $100 today, $99. We have about 250 prints left. Fantastic, beautiful quality prints. So it's today, but it's not bringing down the value of the art. It's bringing down nothing. It just means we have the prints and we give them away for free. You know, last year my father was in good mood or bad mood, he created a huge painting, 72 by 48. And he didn't want to put it in his home. I said, let's put it in a gallery. He said, no, I want for one lucky person. Let's sell it. And if he sold it, it was like, it was pre-Christmas if he sold it for $59. Just, we put it on auction on eBay without like any caps, like a reserve price, nothing. We just put it for $99. For like $1 starting bit and we sold for $59. You put down value of that? No. It's a gift from my father to his collector, basically. It's just how my father sees the art. Art priceless. It cannot go price down, go price up. It's not stock market. I don't know who teach you, but it's not a stock market. Art, and especially with a living artist, it just piece of decor, beautiful piece of decor. In years, it could be investment. Could be, or could be not. Nobody guarantees, nobody in the world. Even if somebody guarantees, he's a liar. It's just piece of decor, beautiful, priceless piece of decor. Remember the word priceless. No matter how much you pay, it's priceless. Because it's no other like this exists in whole big world, not exist. It's priceless. 
I don't have uh, now answer to uh, Courtney. No, Courtney, I don't have pictures of the prints. Otherwise, it's going to be for me. It's a big work to take a picture. It's all our popular paintings. Basically, each paintings on the site are in this package. So you can uh, tell us I want three landscape, two cityscapes, something like this. Exactly. I agree, artists appreciate the moment and feel happy by looking at it. Exactly. I look at this painting and become happy. You know, I look on some stock, <laughs> it doesn't give me any, maybe financially, but art, it's not investment. Art, it's beautiful. Don't need to connect it together. Money and art. You know, some artist, I know a friend of mine, extremely good artist, he won't he said, I don't sell my painting cheaper than $50,000 each. In his life period, he sold two artworks. What do you think the value is go up? Never. Because nobody knows him. And never going to know because he don't give nothing back to the people. And artists need to give back. If this painting going to be stashed here in my home, in my office, it's... <laughs> It's not going to do any good to the art, to the artist. But if it's going to hang in your room, in your home, it's give a warmth to my father. For him to sell each original painting and even right now the recreation, because, you know, he had a lot of helpers. Now he almost he have two persons to help him, like three right now, one training. So each recreation he's put now put even the same amount of time as an original. But it, for him, it's the same as to put daughter to get married. It's the same when he sells paintings. You know, he look. oh, this person bought it. Where are you from? Wow, from this city. Who Googles the city? Wow, so interesting. Of course, we sell prints in hundreds. Of course, we sell phone cases. Like, we work with the biggest outlets in the world. But for the prints, for phone cases, for cups, and for T-shirts. Yes, we sell this in a lot. But real paintings done by the artist. Each painting is a piece of his soul. It's priceless. It's priceless, my friends. No matter how much cheap or expensive I sell it, it's priceless because at some point, no more paintings of this artist and demand still exists, price go up. This is how it works in the a any market. So this is my response to this comment because, you know, to offend artists, it's very simple. And it's very easy. No need, he don't deserve it. No one, him, not me. Other thing, customer service. You know me, I'm trying to provide super customer service. But everything should be reasonable. A couple of days ago, I received email. I bought your painting five years ago. It's sitting on my wall. And it's not really satisfying me. I'm looking at it and I don't feel as much happy as I was at the beginning. I want new painting. Okay, you know what? My brother sent a message. Sure, give it this painting back. No, but it's already on my wall. Come on. I try to provide the best customer service, but, do, but please do not take advantage of it. Because for us, your happiness is most important. I exchange painting, I give a refund. I'm going to send five paintings free of charge if I see it's our fault. If I see, yes, we did a mistake, I'm going to, in Russian, we say, I'm going to break my head, but make you happy. So, sometime we had one buyer bought an original, we shipped him a recreation by mistake. Super sorry. I let keep recreation. I refund the payment, and I ship the original. This is how we work in case of the mistake. But if it's not mistaken, you just change your mind after many, many years, I would love to give you something for free, but it's not possible. Okay, it's nine. Let's see. Do you have any questions, by the way? Today, you know, it, I didn't plan to do any sales, like speeches, nothing. Ah, okay, it's my brother doing some stuff on the computer. I didn't plan to do anything. 
I just saw this comment and I still feel so how it's possible. Come on. We give 50% discount, 60% discount. And you thinking about some kind of investment. Here is no investment. Here is art. Art priceless. Art is priceless. This is why, you know, five prints. We were thinking with my father. What to do with this print? 500 prints, it's uh, like, it's uh, three feet by five feet. It's like a quarter of container. It's a lot because they have special handling, like each print with a bubble wrap. What to do with it? And my father said, give it away to the buyers. Give it away to the buyers. Because, you know, I cannot give it away with a free shipping. It's not possible. I'm going to get out of business, but Take five pieces, pay only $99 for shipping, and it's yours. Today, we sold like 10 or 20 sets. Fantastic. So, come on, guys. You can order more. Okay. So, every artist here. So, I read in the comment. Yeah, I'm agree, Michael. I'm agree. As more artists work, more painting. By the way, you know, for artists, maybe artists not watching me now, but if they're watching, they understand what I'm saying. It's very difficult to create new painting when you have full studio of old paintings and you wake up with a little thought. Maybe nobody needed what I'm doing. Maybe nobody needed what I'm doing. It's what to do. This happened to my father. Because we also started with very expensive prices. We sold through some galleries like five, ten thousand dollars. Yeah, one painting a month, but my father created two, three a day. You try to imagine the stocks of the paintings. And then, thanks to eBay, we put it on the auction for one dollar, no, no reserve, and they start selling thousand, two thousand, one hundred dollars. Depend on the interest of the people, and he started to see that really people laugh, and it gives him more power to create more powerful works. This is how it's work. You have nothing to do with investment. Your collection go down, your collection go up. No, it's art. It's priceless. You're not going to make any money of it right now. Not possible. Your grandkids, baby. But it's priceless. You need to be proud. You know, people love to buy watch limited edition, like car. You know, when I bought my car. The dealer said, look, like this is only a thousand cars exist. You see limited edition, like tons of different, you know, stickers here, stickers there. And I said, wow. And basically only because of the stickers, it's charged me more money because it's make me feel special. This is called limited edition. And art, it's not limited edition. You are the only person that have it. Recreation or original. It's you it's the only person that have it, nobody else. So let's say Melody of the Night. We had three originals and about 50 recreations. Each of them different, each of them unique, each of them one of a kind painting. Okay, let me read comments so you see. Uh, Uh, we planning to go to Singapore. We plan to go this year, but I had my daughter, my wife gave birth to my third daughter, so we decided to stay. And uh, what we planning to go to Singapore probably next week, the next year with my father. We have very good friend lives there, so we're gonna come someday. Thank you, thank you very much. I transfer, transfer all those good comments to my father. Bad comments make him sick. I trying to. Some people said, "Oh, I leave a bad comment. Why it was removed? Not because I afraid somebody will see it. I afraid my father will see it because it give him work breakdown for like a week. Somebody told me, "Oh, I bought a painting. I don't like this. I don't like that one. Tons, tons of stuff." And my father saw it and said, I don't know, I start paint, I start to remember this comment. Why? What he don't like? What we need to improve? So he contacted this person. 
So this person sent him an image. Is this painting even wasn't purchased from us? It's some replica from fake website. Why immediately to give names? Why immediately to put it out? No. Contact me first. I'm sure I can fix any issue. Okay, Michael, I read your comment. I was found you. Yeah, paintings always go up in price because it's also inflation. We located in Mexico, the Mexican peso is also going down, so for price going up. So it's a business, it's also the business. We have shipping, we're paying to FedEx like 30% of the price of the painting. So we we have to sometimes to increase it by little by little. And we think about each dollar. For example, stretching upgrade. My father was against to increase his price from the stretching upgrade. We never make money on it. So we charge, we used to charge $29. And only after five years, we start to charge $35 because wood went down, but up in price and shipping. We're not making money of it. My father trying, trying to provide as more as possible paintings with his real collectors. Because collection, it doesn't matter how much it costs. For example, I collect coins. My most priceless coins, it's not coins that cost more money. It's coins that are difficult to get. This is the coins that I love, and I don't care how many other are around. Okay, so again, it was my ex prompt presentation. I didn't prepare. I don't have a screen right nothing. It just from you know I read the comment and I said, damn, I need to I need to reply. I must to reply. And again, please don't forget surprise prints. How it work? Very simple. You buy this listing for ninety nine dollar, and in the comment section you put. Uh, just a second, I have like a question. Oh, I'm trying to, you know, today I'm without a supporter, so I'm trying to answer everybody. So, you buy this listing for $99, uh, and in the comment section, you put, I want two landscapes, three cityscapes, one new, one flower, five flowers, whatever. And we're gonna, we have 500 pieces. All, all popular art form of paintings are printed there. On good quality cotton canvas, professionally printed is 16 or 14 inject print or something special, coated with varnish, sign on front of the back by my father by hand, and gonna be shipped to you on Monday. My brother promised to me, he told me, I swear on Monday, all prints gonna be shipped if somebody buys them. Because we even don't have too much space to storage them. Prints need special handling. So if you, when you receive it, you can frame it and hang it, or you can order them stretch and ready to hang also. $35 extra for to hang the stretch and ready to hang. Okay, let's see who, if we got any questions. Okay. No, no questions so far. So I'm here, my friends, any questions, anything. Facebook are moderated by me, David Afimov. My father, he just reading through the comments, sometimes he putting something from him. And also I have my friend, Alexander Martinko. He helped me to post new items. And my team, German Collins and Maxim, we all here to help. Today I am alone because I didn't plan to do it. I just was like, what? I saw this comment and said, no, 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 I want to do it. Like I want to talk to the people and explain because it's not fair. Also, if you're interested in franchise, we received about 50 inquiries this weekend. Since mm -hmm. yesterday, 50 people want to interested in franchise. We're trying to provide more in information. So just contact me. Call me directly. I'm here. Happy. I'm going to be happy to answer. Really. Any questions? Anything? Again, I'm here all the time. Okay. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you for spending this 24 minutes with me. I'm David Afromov from afromov.com, from Leonid Afromov Home Studio. Be here and 
we're always happy to answer any question, any concern. Again, don't forget, take a digital picture of your paintings that you receive from us. Post it, post it online, on Facebook, anywhere that you like. As more people will see it, as more trust is given to my company, and as more people make it happy. Because we have nothing to hide. We here hope for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am not sad. I was a little bit offended by the comment, but it's a, it's a social Facebook, it's a social, it's a freedom of speech. I talk what I think, they talk what they think. But I try to explain to everybody that art is priceless. You cannot buy it for money because it's have no price. The price whatever artists ask. And it said some artists ask. Millions, some artists ask, one dollar doesn't matter. Art was created priceless because it's not possible to repeat. Thank you for your time. I see everybody Monday or tomorrow if I'm going to have like this willing to do it. Thank you. Thank you.